start thinking about getting outdoors once again? Well, so do the mosquitoes, because that's the magic temperature. 50 degrees Fahrenheit is when mosquitoes start to hatch. And quickly, they can chase you right out of your favorite backyard, your favorite fishing hole, your playground. When you're out watching the kids play baseball or softball, mosquitoes are little flying hypodermic needles. And there is absolutely no reason to have to tolerate them when you've got Dynatrap. There are two different models of Dynatrap available. We have a, one half, a half acre size and a one acre size. And we are well, well under market price for these. That preseason price will save you even more money. We've had over 475,000 QVC customers who have bought a Dynatrap. And you should read the reviews. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I want to introduce you to Sean Pickford. Welcome back. Good to see you. So, okay, this is not a bug zapper. No. It, it, it doesn't fry them. No. But it, it can literally get rid of mosquitoes in the backyard. That's what it's all about. It's about breaking the life cycle of the mosquito. So what does it do and why is it different? Well, because it mimics you and I. Every okay. time you and I take a breath, we breathe out carbon dioxide. What are the mosquitoes attracted to? carbon dioxide. That's the dinner bell for a mosquito. They can smell our breath up to 300 yards away. So this mimics you and I and our pets. Okay. You plug this in, it creates carbon dioxide. It, it also, it's a magic little system. Yeah. It really is cool. It, it has light and warmth, with their all, which they're also attracted to. So what they do is they fly in and they think they're getting close in their feeding time, but they get close enough. There's a powerful fan down in the bottom here. It sucks them down through the grate here, down into the trap, where they expire. This is the one acre size. Out here in the front is the one half acre size. Uh, I can tell you from experience, I've got them on the farm, and I, I, was, I was admittedly a, a doubting Thomas, uh, because I, you know, I've seen well, first bug time zappers. I saw too, I'd never heard anything like this. Well, the I, yeah, I didn't know that. was so new, yep. but yet the man behind it won. All he's Good done man. all his life is worked with ways to eradicate the mosquito. So he knows what he's talking about when he put this together. Do a little reading. I, I, mosquitoes serve no respectable purpose other than as bat food. Yeah. But so they, what happens, and by the way, it is the female mosquito that bites. Yes. A male mosquito does not. Their life cycle is amazingly short. Sometimes as short as two weeks. But in that two week period, a female mosquito can lay 600 eggs. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, it's not just the mosquitoes. Yeah. The mosquitoes, the flies, the wasps, the hornets, the stink bugs, the moss. We tested these six things in an independent lab, and they said, you know what, you're right. It not only attracts these, but it does a really good job of capturing them. But it doesn't get the pollinators. So we're no. not talking about bees. Or butterflies. Or butterflies. Right, they're the two that are really good. Here's what's going on inside of a Dynatrap. It yeah. starts with a UV bulb. Yeah, so you plug it in, it turns on that bulb. We found the correct color temperature that they're most attracted to. That bulb also does another thing. It warms a plate in there. That plate is produces the carbon dioxide that we breathe. Okay. So it's the light, the warmth, and the carbon dioxide, the trifecta of what it takes to attract a mosquito. When they get close enough, you see that powerful fan sucks, them, sucks in. them into the bottom and they're down in the trap here. This is what they look like when they expire. This, this is two weeks in a backyard right here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Yeah, this is two weeks first. So there's mosquitoes, there's flies, there's stink bugs in there, there's moss, there's all kinds of ugly in there. But you know what? It's not on you, it's yeah. not on your yep. pets, and it's not in your house. So here's the rule, and, and don't shortchange yourself. It comes with a nice long cord, Ten which, feet. which you can plug into an extension cord, that's fine. Yes. You wanna take this unit and you wanna put it about 20 to 30 feet away. Yeah, don't put it in the center of your picnic table because that's where you're bringing the bugs into. Yeah, so. you're drawing them here. Right. But, but let it run, not just when you're outside, no. 24 hours a yes. day and let it run all season long. 50 degrees or warmer outside and you're going to see let the it bugs. go. I mean, 
think about it this way. We tested it. This is 10 cents a day to run the full acre. Yep. It's three, three, cents three cents a day cents for the half, half acre. acre. I have one of these out back behind my pool because I had horse flies that drove my kids nuts. They wouldn't go in the pool. Dad, we're not going in the pool. We yeah. hate the horse flies. Got one of these. Don't have horse flies. Kids are in the pool. It's awesome. I also have the half acre in my garage because kids want to be kids. They want to leave the garage door open. Well, the bugs want to hide in the shade too. So okay. you close the garage door and then all of a sudden next thing they realize, hey, you have air central air. They want to come in the house. So I put one in the garage. So now I don't have bugs outside and yep. I don't have bugs inside. Best of both worlds. Uh, can I tell the story? Yeah. I'm sorry to bore you, man. It's, uh, it's a great story though. Um, Kelly and I live on a horse farm. Anybody who has ever lived on a horse farm knows horse flies. And I've, I've actually been bloodied by horse flies. I put the one acre size out in our backyard area and the one half acre just outside the horse barns. And it became this topic of conversation at my local ag center where all of us old guys sit around and play checkers if we get some time and, and talk. It became this topic of conversation that Hughes doesn't have horse flies on his farm. Well, how come? Well, somebody, somebody said fancy that I got this fancy robotic <laughs> thing and I had Amish farmers wanting to know what's going show on. Show up at my farm in horse and buggies last year to see the magic contraption. And this is it. And it was, this was it. Now I've also known Juan, who is the creator of this product for quite some time. And, and his philanthropic concept wasn't just to give us back our outdoor space, it was to try to get rid of mosquitoes. Yeah, there's nothing good about the mosquitoes. Yeah. I mean, as you said, one mosquito can lay up to 200 eggs. She can do it three times in her life cycle, which could be as long as four weeks. So that could be 600 more mosquitoes. There's a reason why they've been around for 10,000 years. There's a reason why you see them all over the place, especially when it gets warm out. And They're, 50 degrees right. is this magic little number. Uh, we've got a little, uh, some photograph. They will always breed near water. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be a ton of water. No, it can be. It's the rain that we had today, the, the tiny amount of rain that might be left in a gutter a week from now is enough for a female mosquito to find it. Exactly. By the way, the reason why a female mosquito bites you is that we and our pets, all mammals, carry a protein in our blood that the female mosquito must have for her to lay eggs. Right, exactly. And there's some of the places, I mean, you know, old tires, little cups, the kids' sandbox is one of the biggest breeding yeah, yeah. grounds for mosquitoes. Just a tiny puddle. So if you have a sandbox, make sure it's covered. You don't want standing water in there. And again, But it's this, not just mosquitoes. No, these are the six things that we had an independent lab test, and they said, you're, you're right. It attracts mosquitoes, flies, wasps, hornets, stink bugs, and moths, and it does a great job of capturing them. Let me ask you a question. You grew up around here. Did you have stink bugs when you were a kid? No. I, it's no. the craziest thing. I, I didn't grow up here in Pennsylvania. I grew up in the Midwest. And I don't remember stink bugs being a problem until about 10 years ago. And, and now, then they, ooh, they went nuts. Now they're crazy. And they can get into areas that I don't even know. And they're little flying tanks. And the thing is that they're appropriately named. So was, if you don't have them in your area, <laughs> sooner or later you probably will. Yeah. As soon as you touch them, they give off an odor like a skunk. It's and I had heard a story, and I, forgive me, I, this could be completely wrong that it was a matter of, of shipping containers I heard the and same produce thing. From, from the Far East. Yeah, that's what I heard. And they managed to make their way over here. It happens. But they have no natural predators. Birds won't eat them because they stink. Right. So this captures them. Where's the, there it is. This is two weeks in a backyard here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Now, by the way, as the summer goes on, you're gonna start noticing that the quantity diminishes. And I don't want you to think, hey, my Dynatrap's not working anymore. It's doing exactly what you well, want it to two, do. There's two ways you know. If you're not smacking yourself and you can enjoy right. the great outdoors all right. times of the day or night, it's working. And if you notice that they're in the trap like this, you know that it's working. So the best thing you can do is leave it plugged in 24 hours a day. Don't turn it on, don't turn it off. Check Let the trap it do its job. about once a week. You have a full year supply of bulbs. And you get a 90 day return policy. Yeah, 90 day return policy. We're giving you twice the bulbs and we're giving it to you at a much better price than what is fair market price. $88, $89 uh, for the half acre. And then we've got a price of 139 for the acre size. We've got it. Preseason pricing saves you money. Pick them up, save yourself.
It's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Christine is going to be with you in just a few moments. I'd like to say thank you for letting me invade your living room.